My name is Fred Dotson and today I'm going to share one of my favorite techniques with you which I learned in the 1990s. A friend of mine taught it to me so it's not one that I invented but I still use it because it works beautifully. And I call it the empowerment technique because you can use it to empower self or others. First I'm going to explain the technique to you and every step of the process and then I'll give you a guided tour through the process, a closed eyes tour where you can experience it for yourself. It starts by choosing something you want to do, you'd like to do, but you think you can't. Everybody has a list of items where they'd like to do it or they'd like to be it, but they think they can't for some reason or other. Okay, so you take one thing such as, well, I can't make uh, 500,000 a year or I can't just drop all this weight that I have or I can't just travel the world whenever I want to. Okay, we have a lot of things that we'd like to do but think we can't. And you choose one for this process and then you hold the idea in mind that you can't. So, for example, let's say I can't just travel the world. I can't just stop everything right now and travel the world. I'd like to do that, but I can't. To start with an easy example, non-traumatic non example. So I hold that in mind. I can't just stop my work here and travel as I see fit. And the reason we hold it in mind is to create it intentionally. You can only let go of what you own. If you're not holding it, you can't drop it, right? So we create that intentionally and hold that thought in mind. And we'll do it together later, just explaining the steps to you now. The next step is to convert the I can't to I don't want. So in this example, that would be, well, it's not that I can't travel the world, it's actually that I don't want to travel the world. So I hold that thought in mind. I don't want to travel the world. And this conversion from I can't to I don't want is huge. It's fantastic because you're going from victimhood to responsibility. If you don't want it, you're no longer the victim. If you say, I can't, well, then you're at the effect of something. You're being victimized. So that is beautiful, moving from I can't to I don't want. It's not that I can't, it's that I don't want to travel, just to stop my whole work and travel the world. And then you feel what that feels like as compared to I can't. And then the third step is to add the word because. I don't want to travel the world because. Because what? And the purpose of that step is not only to take responsibility, but to feel the underlying frustration, the underlying emotion. Anytime you deal with a I can't, there is an underlying tension or negative emotion hiding behind it. Which is why you keep repeating, oh, I can't, I'd love to, but I can't, I'd love to, but I can't, which is nonsense, which keeps you trapped, right? So. I don't want to travel the whole world right now because 
because I have all these obligations. I have coachings that are running. I have a live seminar coming up. Um, these are obligations. These are commitments that tie me down. You know, if I want to speak of it in a frustrated way, they tie me down. Now, I don't really believe that. I'm just using this as an example for the process. In fact, I don't have any frustrations at the moment. It's a good life because I've been using exercises such as this. I don't want because... Because it's just such, an has such a hassle. Traveling the world is a hassle these days. Who wants to go through uh, the TSA anymore? And who wants to carry around all, these, all this vaccine stuff? Get injected with all this stuff. Who wants that? Traveling is a hassle. I miss the good old days where you could just uh, get on a ship and discover new land. So you feel the underlying frustration, you allow it to pass through, you don't suppress or resist it, it's just energy passing through. It's allowed to be there and then you shift your attention in the next step to, if I really, really, really wanted it, I could. If I really want it, I can. Okay, so in my example, if I really want it, I can travel the whole world. And just get a sense of what it feels like that you actually can. It doesn't matter if you're actually going to do it. I want you to feel that you can. I want you to go from a feeling of being disempowered to empowered. And in fact, if I really wanted, I could. I can travel the whole world. I can also travel it bit by bit. I don't have to travel the whole world at once. Okay, now we'll go through it together choose your topic don't use mine that was my topic choose yours choose something you'd like to do you want to do you think you can't and then hold that thought in mind i can't fill in the blank, I can't, and feel what it feels like to think you can't. To want it, but to think you can't do it or be it. And then convert the can't to I don't want. So, I don't want, it's not that I can't, it's really that I don't want to be or do that. Fill in the blank. I don't want and just hold that thought in mind for a little, feeling the difference to I can't. The sense of owning, of responsibility. It's a beautiful shift. And then let's look at the underlying emotion. I don't want to be or do that because... Because what? You fill in the blank. Be cause. I don't want to do that. I don't want to be that because of this and this and this. Find your reasons, your frustrations.
And now that you've established that you don't want it, and the reasons you don't want it, shift your attention and realize, if I really wanted it, I can. If I really want, I can. Fill in the blank. I can. Just hold the thought, I can dot 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 with your own topic I can and feel what it's like to think I can be or do this All right, that's your first experience with the technique. Now, what I recommend you do to get to know this process and what it can do for you is you make a list of all the things you think you can't do and would like to do. Let's say a list of 10 items and you take these 10 items through the process and see how you feel after that. It'll be life changing because all these little tensions you build up inside, these senses of lack of I can't this, I can't that, I give up on that, all of that dissolves, all the apathy dissolves and you're left with a higher state of consciousness of course in the absence of apathy, which doesn't mean you're going to have to do all of that, that you now can do, but just knowing that you can do that uh, dissolves the apathy. You know, there might be things from the list you choose not to do because they're not integrous, and that's great. This, the purpose of this exercise is not to get you to do stuff that's not integrous, But at the very least, you should know you can if you want it. And then you can choose to do the things that are integrous, that you can do. It's about moving from can't to can. If you found this information useful and helpful, share it far and wide. There's no other way it's going to help people than if you share it. I often see how tens of thousands of people uh, come into the enjoyment of such a process or video, but they don't share it with anyone. Share the good news. Help people empower themselves. Thank you.